Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to cover Visioner Cipher. So let's get started. So Visioner Cipher is a polyalphabetic cipher where the key is represented as a stream of characters. We have covered a similar cipher called as Auto Key Cipher in one of our previous videos. I would highly recommend you guys to watch that first to understand the working of key stream cipher. Link is in the i button. Coming back to Visioner Cipher, here the key stream generation step is different as compared to the Auto Key Cipher. And how it is different? Here the key stream is a repetition of a secret keyword of length m, where m lies between 1 and 26, both inclusive. Also, the key stream can be created without knowing what is the plain text. So in Autokey Cipher, we require the plain text to generate the key stream. But in Visioner Cipher, there is no requirement of the plain text. So let's look at the mathematical definition of the Visioner Cipher. So as the previous ciphers, the plain text is represented by P1, P2, P3 and so on and the domain of the plain text is Z26. Similarly, the cipher text is represented as C1, C2, C3 and so on and here the domain also is Z26. Now let's look at the definition of the key. So the key starts from K1, K2 and so on till Km and again starts from K1, K2 and goes on and the domain is also Z26. So you might be wondering what are this k1, k2 and km. So here ki represents the ith character of the secretly agreed keyword of length m. So here the key stream is generated by simply repeating the keyword. Now let's look at the encryption and decryption of Visioner cipher. Let's start with the encryption. So the encryption algorithm is ci equal to pi plus ki mod 26 and the decryption algorithm is pi equal to ci minus ki mod 26. So if you can recall, these are the exact encryption and decryption algorithm of an additive cipher also called a shift cipher, which I've already covered in one of our previous videos. Link in the i button, do watch it if you haven't. So in additive cipher, we used to add or subtract the key from the plain text or cipher text and here we are doing the same. Just there, we used to have a single letter key and here we have a longer key. And hence, additive cipher is a special case of a visionary cipher where m is equal to 1. So there we used to have a single character and hence we added or subtracted the same character from the plain text or cipher text. But here we have a stream of characters and hence it comes under polyalphabetic ciphers. That was an interesting fact to know, right? So having understood the mathematical definition, let's go to the diagrammatic representation of a visionary cipher. So continuing with the templates that we have been following in all the videos, we have these two parties of Alice and Bob with their respect to plain text and cipher text. Let's focus on Alice now. So Alice represents the plain text as a stream of characters represented by P1, P2, P3 and so on. And here we have a key stream starting from K1, K2 and so on till Km and again the keyword is repeated. So this generates a key stream. This key stream is shared between Alice and Bob via a secure key exchange channel. So for encryption, Alice takes the plain text and the key stream and performs bitwise addition operation limited to mod 26. We have already covered the working of the bitwise addition operator in the autokey cipher video. I would recommend you guys to watch that first to understand this properly. So coming back to the topic, Alice performs the bitwise addition operation which is limited by mod 26 of the plain text and key to generate the cipher text which is represented as C1, C2, C3 and so on. Now this cipher text is sent to Bob via an insecure public channel. Now Bob has a cipher text and he represents the cipher text as a stream of characters represented by C1, C2, C3 and so on. Now Bob takes the cipher text stream and the key stream and applies bitwise negation operation to generate the plain text which is represented by P1, P2, P3 and so on. The bitwise negation operation is also covered in the auto key cipher video so do check that out. So in this way Bob retrieves the plain text. So this is how encryption and decryption is carried in a Visioner cipher. Now let's solve an example to understand it properly. So here the example is encrypt the message hello world using Visioner cipher with keyword as cat and again retrieve the plain text from the cipher text. So here we have the plain text as hello world. We have the keyword as cat. The step one is to generate the initial key stream. Let's construct a table for that. Here the keyword is cat, let input the individual characters, so we have C, A and T. Now let's use the mapping table to get the numerical values of these characters. So here C is 2, A is 0 
and t is 19. So the initial key stream is 2, 0 and 19. Let's move to the second step that is encryption. So we have the plain text hello world, we have the initial key stream as 2019 and the encryption algorithm is ci equal to pi plus ki mod 26. So as always we will use a table to calculate the values. The first row is pi where we input all the individual characters of the plain text which is hello world. The next row is the numerical value of pi and using the mapping table we input the numerical values of the corresponding characters. The next step is ki. Here we will input the initial key stream. So we start with 2, 0 and 19 and again start repeating the initial key stream. So we have 2, 0, 19, again 2, 0, 19 and again 2. Since we have come to the end of the table, we will stop here. The next step is encryption that is pi plus ki mod 26. So we add the values of these two rows and apply the mod 26 operator. So let's do it. So 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 mod 26 is 9, 4 plus 0 is 4, we have 4, 11 plus 19 gives us 30, 30 mod 26 is 4. If you are in doubt how this 4 came, we have already covered the working of modular operator in the modular operator video. Do check that video if you haven't. Let's go on. So 11 plus 2 gives us 13, 13 mod 26 is 13. 14 plus 0 is 14, so we have 14. 22 plus 19 is 41, 41 mod 26 is 15. Then 14 plus 2 is 16, so we have 16 here. Then we have 17. So again we have 11 plus 19 which gives us 30 and mod 26 is 4. And finally we have 3 plus 2 which gives us 5 and 5 mod 26 is 5. And final step is CR, so let's use the mapping table to find the corresponding alphabet. So 9 represents J. 4 represents E, again we have 4, so E, 13 is N, 14 is O, 15 is P, 16 is Q, 17 is R, again 4 is E and 5 is F. And here the cipher text is as follows. So in this way we have performed encryption in Visioner cipher. Let's move forward to decryption. So here we have the cipher text and the key stream which is 2019. And the decryption algorithm is pi equal to ci minus ki mod 26. Again, we will construct a table to retrieve a plain text. So the first column is ci, where we input the individual characters of the cipher text. The next row is the numerical values of ci, and using the mapping table, we input the corresponding numerical values of the characters. The next step is ki, which is same as encryption. So we do 2, 0, 19, and again we start repeating it. So we have 2, 0, 19, 2, 0, 19, and 2. Finally coming to decryption step, we have ci minus ki mod 26. So here we subtract the second row from the first row and apply mod 26. So let's do it. So 9 minus 2 is 7, 7 mod 26 is 7, then 4 minus 0 gives us 4, 4 minus 19 gives us minus 15, and minus 15 mod 26 gives us 11. So if you are again in confusion, we have already covered the calculation of modulus for negative numbers in the modulo operator video. Do check it if you haven't. Moving forward, we have 13 minus 2 which is 11 and 11 mod 26 is 11. 14 minus 0 is 14, we have 14. 15 minus 19 is minus 4, minus 4 mod 26 is 22. 16 minus 2 gives us 14, 17 minus 0 is 17. 4 minus 19 again we have minus 15 and minus 15 mod 26 is 11 and 5 minus 2 gives us 3 and 3 mod 26 is 3. The final step is pi. So let's use the mapping table to get the corresponding characters. So we have 7 is h, 4 is e, 11 is l, again we have 11 so l, 14 is o, 22 is w, 14 is again o, 17 is R, 11 is L, and 3 is D. And we have successfully retrieved our plain text that is hello world. Before moving forward, I want you guys to observe one thing. Here the length of the keyword is 3. And hence the cipher text is divided into multiple pieces with the maximum length of each piece is 3. That is the length of the keyword. So your JEE represents the first piece, NOP represents the second piece, QRE represents the third piece and F represents the fourth piece. 
And what is the significance of this observation? We'll understand in the cryptanalysis of the Vigena cipher, which is the next part. So since Vigena cipher is a polyalphabetic cipher, the whole cipher doesn't preserve the single letter frequency, which was the vulnerability of the monoalphabetic cipher. But in Vigena cipher, since the keyword is splitting the cipher text into multiple pieces, and each piece is using the same key, each individual piece does preserve the single letter frequency. And this is the loophole of Vigena cipher, which cryptanalysts use to crack the code. And one of the techniques used to crack the Vigena cipher is Kaczynski test. So in Kaczynski test, cryptanalyst searches for repeated text segments of at least three characters. So here, the cryptanalyst searches for repeated text segments which have at least three characters in common. After getting the repeated text segments, he then calculates the distances between them. Suppose d1, d2, d3 and so on till dn represents the distances between the repeating segments, then according to Kaczynski's test, m, that is the length of the keyword, is the GCD of all the distances. So once the cryptanalyst gets the value of m, he divides the ciphertext into pieces of length m. And since each piece preserves single letter frequency, cryptanalyst applies statistical attack to each piece till a sensible plain text is obtained. We have covered statistical attack in the cryptanalytic attacks video. Do watch it if you haven't. Link in the i button. So in this way, the Vigena cipher is cracked. So this was all about Vigena cipher. So that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubt, please do let us know in the comment section below and if you have found the video helpful, do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the CSS series. Bye bye.